Welcome to StrengthSide. Today we're talking about a very important topic and that is how to really fix these rounded shoulders that are going on here, right? So now when you have rounded shoulders, you may be in pain, you may have some discomfort, and you probably don't have the full range and capacity that your shoulder can go through. So <clears throat> what's going on here? Well, there probably is some tight muscles going on here. There's probably some weak muscles going on here as well, right? And a lot of the time, if you get prescribed exer exercise for this, you're going to get external rotations, right? We're going to try to strengthen the, the back of the, uh, or we're going to try to strengthen the rotator cuff. We're going to try to strengthen the back of the shoulder and probably some scap retractors as well. These are all great things. We're going to stretch the front of the chest. But what I have found in my experience is that you can do as many of these as you want. And if you don't know how to position your shoulder correctly, if you don't have the motor control to control what your shoulder is doing and where it should be during exercise and throughout the whole day, then these exercises really aren't gonna do anything for you, right? All you're gonna be doing is doing those exercises in a poor position and then go back to a poor position when you're done. And we're really not gonna get much out of it. So. What we have to do is we have to focus on the motor control aspect and, and understand how to control your shoulder and set it in the position that is going to be most healthy for it to be in, right? So let's talk about how to do that, okay? So the first thing that I like to have people do is to just do a standing double arm external rotation, okay? So we're just going to go like this. And now... What we're looking for is that, we're that for the shoulder to stay back, we don't want to dump into this internally rotated anterior tilted humerus position, right? We want that shoulder to stay back, and then we're just going to go out to our limit here. When you get to that limit, go ahead and just squeeze a little bit, kind of press, try to press a little bit further, and that's going to activate that shoulder and those external rotators. So we kind of just start finding which muscles we may need to be thinking about and activate, okay? So the elbows stay tight, and we're going into some external rotation. Okay, so now that we've done that, you know, maybe or maybe not, you might be feeling these, these uh, external rotators in the back of the shoulder turning on. Hopefully you might be feeling that. If not, that's okay. Now this next one that we're gonna do is to start trying to find where our shoulder should actually sit. So you can put one arm out like this, and what you're going to do, have your palm facing away from you, and you're going to twist this way, okay? So we're twisting into external rotation. So I'm here. Boom. Now, my hand is twisting here, right? But what should really be going on is the whole arm should be twisting, and that is setting my shoulder into external rotation, okay? Now, eventually... But we want to get to the point where we can do this and now I don't have to move my hands but I can still set my shoulder back into external rotation okay so here now if we drop those hands down that's a well set shoulder right there right that's where my shoulder should be we're not going straight back into this okay the shoulder comes back right so now Another thing that you can think about is what we're actually doing here is we're kind of supinating the arms, which means that we're just flipping the palms upwards, right? So if I put these down by my sides, now my hands are facing this way, right? My palms are facing away from me. That's setting my shoulder into a better position, okay? So if I'm here, I open up my, my hands here to face this way, now, my shoulder gets set back into a better position, okay? So this right here, this is what you need to pay attention to all day long, right? We gotta be conscious of this all the time because this is the problem, right? The problem is not that you're not doing the correct exercises. The problem is that your shoulder's here throughout the whole day when you're on the computer, when you're standing up, when you're walking around. So then if I just go to the gym and do some rows and do some external rotations, what is that really gonna do for me, right? All you're gonna do, be doing is 
15 minutes of trying to reverse what you've been doing all day long, right? We got to fix what we're doing all day long. And then eventually that's going to become a little bit more normal for you. That's when you're going to become the norm to then when we go in the gym, now we can really train the exercises that are going to strengthen those muscles to make it even easier to hold this position all the time, right? So motor control, right? Controlling the shoulder, finding out where that shoulder needs to be by using these real, real simple exercises to set that shoulder back, okay? Well, so now, once you feel like you've got a grasp on that, then a really simple exercise to do is just a banded external rotation. So now that I feel like I know where my shoulder needs to be in space a little bit better, it's not here at the front. It's set back because I've been practicing this motion a lot. Now I can actually get something out of an, out of an exercise like a banded uh, ex standing external rotation right from my shoulder. So now I can do this exercise. I can really feel the right muscles kick on now, right? Really feel those rotator cuff external rotator muscles being worked, getting fatigued, and then hopefully strengthening those muscles, right? Same thing we can do right here. We can just add a band here to this external rotation that we've been doing without any resistance. Boom. Right. So now we're training that shoulder to be stronger in that external rotation range. But the point of the video is that that comes after you learn how to set the shoulder better. Okay. What I see a lot is that people externally rotate, externally rotate, right when they're done with their exercise, they're right back here, right? That's not gonna get you anywhere. We have to learn how to centrate that joint, put that shoulder back into external rotation a little bit because you're too far in internal rotation. So we get back in external rotation, we restore that range of motion, and then better posture, better shoulder function, now you can actually go in the gym and strengthen those muscles like we should. All right, guys, that is the video. Hopefully that helped you out. Uh, let us know if it did. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to Strength Side. And as always, see you in the next one.